Good morning. Uh, here we are on on Summit Road in uh, the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, today we're going to look at Soquel San Jose Road, which uh, starts right here off of Summit and goes down to the quaint little town of Soquel. Uh, it's about 11 miles to Soquel. Uh, gonna do the, the whole length down to the first signal we come to. Uh, let's get on the bike and get going. Do we have all our gear on? I'm a firm believer in ATGAT. All the gear, all the time. Uh, want to be safe and have fun. That's the whole idea is to have fun. Speed limit on this road is 40 miles an hour. Pretty much down the whole way. Uh, most of the traffic flows at that speed or, or a little above in general. Uh, the double double yellow line, and there are no designated passing lanes until you get down to the bottom. But motorcycles generally pretty much ignore the double yellow and I'm pretty much an advocate of that policy myself. In the mountains here, uh, there's, there's a couple of things that, that keep our speed down. Uh, one, th this is a major arterial through the mountains. Um, it's not the freeway. There's a uh, Highway 17 a, a little bit to the west of us here that is the main arterial, but this is this is a major arterial. So a couple of times a day, there's a lot of traffic on this road. That's basically in the morning and in the afternoon. The rest of the time, it's uh, very light. So as long as you uh, avoid the morning rush or the afternoon rush, you can usually have a pretty nice ride. Uh, so what, one thing that keeps my speed down a little bit, potentially, is traffic. Uh, another thing on this road is we are, in, we are in a deer area. And deer, as you've probably no doubt seen on, on YouTube, with videos of motorcyclists hitting deer, uh, they don't give you a lot of time to react. If they jump out of the trees at the side of the road right into your path, you're pretty much going to hit them. I don't want to really do that at a high rate of speed, so I try to be sane about it. Now, my sane might not be your sane, but that's what I'm willing to live with. If I hit a deer at, at 40 or 50, that's better than hitting him at 80. The other thing on, on this road, not so much now, but, but all through the winter, uh, there's a lot of areas where there are rocks and mud and trees and things that, that fall into the road. So you can have unexpected hazards that uh, weren't there the last time you rode, and now they've popped up and, and there they are. So I try to, try to keep in mind that uh, I might know the road very well, but it changes. There's actually a sign down at the bottom that, uh, much to that effect, it says uh, conditions can vary, and they do.
we'll get around this truck as soon as we can. I, I like to be able to see far enough ahead that I'm not worried about passing them. You got to keep in mind that the oncoming traffic might be a speeding biker or somebody that's uh, going to be on you in a, in a matter of seconds. So you try not to be stupid. You don't pass on a blind corner. You don't pass on too short a straight. Uh, and you pass as quick as you can. You get around them and then back into your, your line of, of traffic. come down this road at or a little above the speed limit. Um, I haven't had a speeding ticket in years and I really want to keep it that way pretty much but that doesn't mean I, I always drive right at the limit. Uh, like everybody else I, uh, I tend to fudge it a little bit. One thing about speeding or driving in general, everybody's got a different idea of what is safe. Now, I try to think that I drive safely, or at least I, I'd like to think I drive safely. Uh, a lot of you are going to say I'm, I'm a wimp, I drive real slow. Others are going to say, man, you drive way out of the out of the range of what is considered safe. And that, that's basically because everybody's got their own speed. And what is safe is normally someone who's driving at your speed or slower. And what is reckless is somebody that's driving at your speed or faster. So, I expect everybody to be on one side or the other and very few saying, man, you drive just right. That's not human nature here on YouTube. Anyway, we're just out to, out to see the road. What it's all about is the bike and the road. And I'm not going to get into the metaphysical meanderings and mental exercises on what is good and what is bad, at least not too much.
this is one of those areas where rock slides are, are very common. Got a uh, wall of stone to the right of us. And just about every year something uh, falls off of the wall, comes down and lands in the road. There's a little market up here on the right, a very little market, Castellanos. Castellanos? No, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Got a G right in the middle, it's kind of silent. Anyway, we're getting back into the uh, more of a residential neighborhood now. Uh, approaching the the end of the road, still still a couple miles to go. There's a school over here, a couple of houses. This is one of the few passing zones right here. I think it's really the only one left. Uh, it's all double yellow above here and it's all double yellow pretty much all the way into town. And that was the Seventh Day Adventist campground we just passed. Um, nice people, very orderly, very well organized. They have a big jamboree one time a year when, when hundreds of uh, Seventh-day Adventists show up and, and do their thing. As you can see, we're on the outskirts of town. Um, got a lot of houses now, a lot of driveways. So the fun, fun part of the road is, is basically over. Um, we'll uh, pull up to the signal here and end the recording. The signal is uh, Oh gee, where Soquel High School is, just off to the right. And we're pretty much coming into the town of Soquel, so we'll uh, we'll stop the recording right right about here. It's the high school just up ahead. Uh, that'll be 
the end of our first video. Bye.